Cancers, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. This is an energy reading. So this is Cancerian energy. So wherever Cancer influences your natal chart, you can apply this for the next seven days, seven to 10 days. <sighs> Cancers. Let's see. I'm I'm curious to know. You know, it's I I know what other people have been going through. It's really interesting to see what we're going through. Cancer, Cancer energy. Remember, this is the full oracle card spread. There is always an extended full tarot card spread and romance reading. That link is in the description box below. <sighs> cancer, 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 Cancer. Dream the world into being, but having difficulty giving up the past, haunted by the past, maybe, maybe driven by the past. And that's a good thing to be because we don't want to be tethered or held down or even so caught up in the past, we forget to be here present in the moment of the right here and right now. We have to know we have to know where our abundance goes, right? We have to let our abundance know where to show up. And if we want it now, we have to be living here and now. There is a dreaming of the future. There is a wanting of the future. You know what you want, Cancerians, but there's something that's haunting you. There's something that is still looming from the past. And I feel like it's a shadow of doubt. I feel like it's a shadow of denial. I feel like it's the shadow left by things not happening perfectly or too quickly. It's almost like the shadow of reality on the dreams that we want to make come true. And you know what? Shadows are reality. 3D world means you're gonna have shadows. It never looks as beautiful as it does in our dreams because our dreams aren't 3D. Our dreams have no dimensional limitation. But here in the 3D, things look a little bit different. So it's not, maybe we, we can start picking up our abundance today. You know, maybe we can start gathering our abundance today and recognizing it today if we only realize it's going to come with a shadow. That's the crowning energy, Cancerians. Ooh. Cancer, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, coming out all over the place, slipping out, sneaking out. Really interesting way of presenting itself to me. Really interesting way of presenting itself to me. Nothing is wasted. There is trash in this. There is treasure in this trash heap. This also could be feeling trashed or feeling disposed of or feeling like you haven't been recognized. But overall, this is an energy of six plus three, which is nine. Something is coming to a head. And I think it's this perception of ours, of, 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 the, of the understanding that we have a lot more control over the world, our world, than we ever thought we did. And that it doesn't have to, um, it being our abundance, whatever it is we're really hoping for, may be closer than we think it is. Let's look. Be here now. Having trouble staying in the present moment, being cockeyed and flying upside down, trying to fly upside down. This is Libra energy, so this is imbalance. This is an imbalanced understanding of where we're supposed to be in the present time, of where in time we're supposed to be focused on. This is life isn't so sweet right now. This is feeling rejected. This is feeling dejected. This is feeling like we have to pick through the leftovers of everybody else. But you know what? There is treasure in this trash heap. I know it. I feel it. I can't get rid of it. Loyalty. Be loyal to what you love. Stay consistent and just keep going. This is uh, the feeling of unconditional love. The feeling of... Um, the energy of unconditional love, um, steadfastness, stalwartness, commitment to a purpose, finding a way to balance the black with the white, the shadows with the dark, 
interesting energy. Hold on. This is the energy of 10. This is the energy of seven. So the creation itself is not so fun for us right now. I feel like whether we're, we're working on something that isn't working out or that there's a lot of wrenches in our pro in our machine there's a lot of stalls there's a lot of bumps there's a lot of unexpected complications that's what this is telling me and we have this such a commitment toward what we love it's hard to not see it as everything perfect like imagine the way a dog looks at something you keep looking at this something the someone or this something as if they are everything they are perfect it is perfect it is perfect it is the most beautiful thing and that's, I think, part of the pain is that we're looking at something that is imperfect as if it was perfect. And we could, if we could only accept that this is the imperfect process, we wouldn't feel like we were being so dejected and left behind. Hmm. Trust in divine detours, something coming upon us, something that we don't expect. Six plus one, this is um, also seven, something unexpected and this is our central energy something unexpected keeps hitting us you know we keep getting sideswiped by these unexpected complications but what if they're not complications what if they're adventures just waiting to happen this is Sagittarius energy I don't think that we're loving it right now hold on um here we have this is really interesting overcome any obstacle bash our way through it this is Taurus energy uh, being appreciated and feeling loved this is grounding energy what grounds you in your life this is five this is the chain this is the power of change change grounding us that's really interesting but there's an energy of of us bulldozing our way through and just deciding we're going to get through this and that's the problem all we're doing is deciding that we're going to bulldoze our way through it and just get through it. We actually have to feel it and experience it. Like let the world sting for a while. The irritation, the frustration. We are so consumed with the frustration that we're missing the fact that we're in it right now. We're in our dreams come true right now. This is the energy of six plus ten. And that is fulfillment. Almost like the Ten of Swords, this is a fulfillment, an end of a cycle of um, feeling pestered, feeling frustrated, feeling like there's pain all the time. It's life. This is the world. This is the world at large. This is the reality of life. It's really nothing that we're personally being assaulted by. It's just our focus on, on the pain itself. Um, coming in, wow. Wow make your dreams real as we whittle away and as we pine away we give parts of ourselves away right we we offer parts of ourselves to make our dreams into a reality and it, it's costly this can also be caught in a web caught in the web waiting to get stung or maybe us focused so much on healing the pain and creating a web so that we take away the pain, we're getting sidetracked. Like we're, we're getting side, side, sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked by trying to alleviate the pain and by trying to make the pain go away that we're not focused on what we should be focused on, which is just keep going, just keep doing it because the pain is a necessary part of the process. Um... And then this card comes out. Fake it till you make it, guys. That's what it is. Act as if. You know why we have to act as if it's already here? I think it's more of a reminder that it is already here. That's what this card is telling me. And this is change too. Change what you see. Change the way that you're perceiving this. And... And you will see that you already have your dream come true. You will see that. Bring a gentle touch. Be nicer to yourself. Be kinder to yourself. This is the energy of nine as well. Lots of fives and lots of nines. There's a change coming to your situation. The struggle is almost at an end. Time to let go. Whatever it is that's been gnawing at your heart that you have not been able to let go of, something that something that's making things harder for you. Why hold on to it? 
This is the energy of it is time to release it and let it be dead. Let it be over with. I also feel like it's a constant reminder. There's two cards here that are constantly gnawing and nagging on us. What's the constant reminder? What is it that we can't forget? What is it that we can't let go? Magic works through you and this is our energy. I think I shared this with you guys. The scarab beetle was once was the Egyptian symbol for our sign. It was not the crab. That was a, tr a later translation. It used to be the scarab beetle, which has much more magical and mystical and powerful connotations of what we truly are able to do is creatures of the tides. We live between two worlds. We navigate the land and the sea, but we need them both in our lives at all times. So we need the balance of the two. It's not just the mastery of the two or one or the other. We need the balance of the two. We're very particular creatures, but just like magic is, magic needs a fine-tuned balance all the time. We are creating something. The magic is working through us. Five plus two is seven. This is upright magic. This is magic that is us ourselves. Spirit has a plan. Spirit doesn't have a plan. We have the plan. And I've said this to you guys before. We are the magic. We're the ones guiding spirit. Spirit is sitting back and saying, what do you want? Just tell me. And that's why it feels like we're out there all alone because that's how it feels to be in the lead is to not have anybody to, it, to not have anybody to sort of fall back on or, or no, to look to for guidance. And that's why it feels like we're so clumsy all the time. We're not clumsy all the time. We're paving new trails. Interesting. This is a big reading too. Grounding energy, transformation is beautiful, and be peace. There's a change coming. It's your butterfly period coming up. Two creatures that have wings and that relate to love and beauty. And this one in particular is balanced. This is Libra energy, upright. So this is a feeling of peace and love and tranquility and happiness and abundance that's coming to you soon. I know it doesn't feel like it's going to happen, Cancerian. But the truth is, I think that it's already happened and we just don't realize it. Now, why do I say that? Because of all these transformative energies on the, t on the table. The change has already happened to us. We just have to appreciate it and realize that it's not as perfect. Look, the butterfly has a shadow. What did we think when we broke out of the cocoon? What did we think it was going to feel like to fly? Did we think that we'd never have to flap? Did we think that we'd never have to flutter? Did we think that it wasn't going to be work just because we sprung wings? This is the awakening of our reality that the truth is our dream is here and it is now. Now, maybe it's not as big as it will be or big as we expected it to be. But the truth is right here, right now, we have in front of us all that we've ever hoped and wished for. And I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash about it. It's really just a change in the perspective of what can you look at? What can you see differently to see with these kaleidoscope eyes and see really how beautiful the world is right here, right now? There is a constant reiteration of be here right now. And this is 21. Two plus one is three. The energy of ultimate balance of stability and happiness coming in our lives. There's a huge change coming into our lives and that change is finally being able to be happy. Something that relieves all the stress and all the burdens, all the, um, all the pain, all the pain, all the suffering, but, but pain and suffering never goes away. And that's why I'm saying, I think it's a change in a perspective. It's realizing that there's always going to be flies around wherever there's honey, wherever there's fruit, there's going to be flies. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why do we keep tormenting ourselves with these fantasies that we can have the fruit and no flies? Why do we keep tormenting ourselves with these fantasies? Um, that we can have the wings, but not have to work to move them. Like it, it just doesn't make any sense. And so once we balance out that nonsensical in our minds, we're going to realize the dream is already here. And once we realize the dream is already here, more of the dream is going to arrive. This is just the beginning of our dream. It's just the start. 
We have just opened and expanded and broadened ourselves. We're just doing that now. And what Aquarius season is asking us to do is to open up our minds because our minds get stuck. They get fixated, they get obsessed and they get stuck. And it's usually on our expectations on what we dreamed it would be like. And that dream is what's getting in the way of us realizing our real dream. Because the real dream never, ever, 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 ever feels like the realized dream, the realization or the manifestation of the dream. And if we realize that, we will realize that we are currently right here, right now, living the dream, living what we've always wanted, or at least parts of it. We'll realize we're on the path. We're on that trail. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on. So... Crowning our energy is what is haunting us, what is holding us back, what is it in the past that is mucking up or making us feel like the future or where we are right now isn't good enough. There is trash in this treasure heap, something that we're not seeing because we always feel like we're sucking on trash instead of sucking on the honeysuckle. We always feel like we're having scraps or scraps are being thrown to us, right? This is a deterrent. This is a change. Always always feeling or thinking or looking at what other people have, right? Instead of what we have ourselves. And this is what we have to change is our mindset, a change or a shift in our mindset or not really liking the feeling, being uncomfortable with the feeling of what it really is to make a difference in our own lives. Um, beyond that, I know it's, this sounds like a real, this sounds like real preachy. And I, I don't like it either, right? Because uh, I'm a Cancerian too and I'm listening to this reading. But what I can extrapolate from this is that there is break, there, there are breakthroughs coming. There are. We're about to catch that thing that kept stinging us. We're about to catch that thing that kept nagging us and irritating us and instead of bulldozing our way through it maybe we need to just be still we just need to be calm and we need to wait like an ambush predator because eventually it will come to us it's about setting the trap cancerians a very very clever trap getting very very still because life is used to us being get, getting get, being very emotional, getting very frustrated. It's almost like there's an energy here that depends on us being very, very emotional and loving the fact that it can hear us from a mile away because we usually act like a bull in a china shop with our emotions. But that's not the way to catch this fly. That's not the way to catch the mosquito, right? What's the way to catch the mosquito? Set a trap, set the net. Be the spider. This is actually really mother energy too. So it could be somebody helping you, somebody coming to your defense or protecting you. Um, but this is more, the more I look at it, the more I see. This is, we need to be still and we need to be present in this present moment. And we need to let what is buzzing or irritate, we need to let it come to us. Because that's what's going to happen. Act, blend in. Act peaceful and act as if we've let it go. Pretend like, pretend like it doesn't matter to us anymore. Pretend like we don't even notice it or see it. Re really. And then what will happen? Bam, it will expose itself. I think there's a transformation in the stillness too. That once, when, it's almost like what I say, fake it till you make it. If we calm down and slow down, even if it is to pretend like we're catching this fly, it's the slowing down and calming down that will actually trick us into shifting. Because if we were focused on shifting, we wouldn't actually be able to shift. We would keep screwing up or getting paranoid about it. So it's like focus on catching this irritant. Focus on shifting so that you can set this trap. But what we're really doing is enabling ourselves to slow down enough so that everything that is 
cumbersome to us drops away and we can then transform and move on to that higher level. This is really almost like um, creating your own red herring, psyching yourself out. But this is the way through. It's really mind gamey, right? But it's, it's the Aquarian way. And, you know, while in, while in Aquarius, do what Aquarius do. You know, catch, you know, catch your prey with cleverness. And I think, honestly, Cancerians, we are our own prey this week. We're the ones that we have to catch. Our emotions and our brains that run away from us, we have to catch them. And in order to catch them, we have to focus right here, right now. And in that stillness of that focus of this present moment, I promise you there's a huge shift that's going to happen. What is the extended reading? Let's see. You know, this is very esoteric and all up in the air. I'm wanting some grounding energy, so a, a more clear message. Let's go over to uh, Tarot. And then we'll also do the love and romance reading. See you guys over there.